Right, welcome to this little video regarding the CB9035 Mark III. This is a test that will, or video that will show the usage of the different firing modes of the CB9035 EK, obviously. Uh, I've known this vehicle, well, this is the, rather, I've been working on this vehicle for about five years. Uh, so this is kind of one of them vehicles that I know mostly about in Steel Beast. Uh, and hopefully, with my knowledge, I can explain some of the firing mechanisms on the vehicle in Steel Beast. Even though some of them are still a bit barked, but hopefully eSIM will sort that out at some point, whenever they get the time for it. Um, yeah. So... Let's get going. Let's start up in the driver co uh, correction in the gunner's compartment. To your left over here. If I can panorama the vehicle's view over there. We have a little lever here which opens the one to one battle site. As you can see here, it is a very close proximity site. Um, it has a very, very big field of view. Which we normally would use when we drive around in wooded, correction, in foresty areas or inside towns where we need to be able to see what's going around close to us. So let's close that back up again. We don't really need that right now. Um, we have our day site here, which is rather nice to have. Uh, just to get some other usage of our views, of our scanning, so you don't all get shot eyes in uh, in the thermal mode. And of course here we got our thermal, which can go black hot, white hot, obviously. At the moment we are stuck in the firing mode, or in the moving mode, with the APFS round. And uh, if we click on page up, we can switch between the different modes in that. So we have, of course, we have moving, which we use to lead a target while it's driving. Or if we are driving, we switch it to moving. Air is obviously for helicopters that we can engage with uh, our AP round. And fixed is for fixed targets. If we are fixed we and shooting at a fixed target, then we switch it over to that. We never do that while we're moving. Then it's always in moving, obviously. Then we have go to our right magazine and the kit rounds. As you can see, we have our different variety of uh, gun modes here. Let's start off with the point mode, which we can use against uh, infantry that's walking in a staggered column or a column. We can use it on vehicles to blind them. I'll show that effect later. Um, we have our deep mode, which we can use on entrenched ve uh, entrenched modes uh, to keep uh, infantry down in their trenches. Uh, I'll show you how that works later. And we have our wide, wide mode or line mode, which used against infantry lying or walking in a extended line. Um, th that is very, very effective against that. And we have our airburst munition, which we can use against helicopters, obviously. It's like one that's coming right here. As you can see, but I'll show that later. Or we have the pain, which basically means we will shoot at a building, but the round will not destroy or explode on impact. It will go through the building and then explode on the other side, opening up with all its pellets. Uh, in Steel Beast, there's still some bugs with that, uh, especially shooting infantry in that, that is placed inside buildings. It doesn't really work 100%. So, um, yeah, let, let's, let's start off with... With the... Um, the point shooting on a gorgeous little tank. Where did I see it? There it is. Don't take this as as one of the best things you can do. Normally, we would use point as our last line of defense. If we, we got nothing else we can do, then we can always try to blind a tank. 
Um, so basically what you do is you lace to the target, hold in your firing button until it's shot off two rounds. It's important that you hold in the bottom so so it, it, it recalls that it shot both rounds, otherwise it can't fuck up the fire mechanism. So let's have a go with this T-72B1 over here. 2280 firing. And we should be able to see the, the pellets go off on the target. And if we're lucky, if I'm lucky, obviously, we can go to the tank and see, okay, the what what's happened to the tank so far. So if we go into the gunner side, that has been demolished. It's not able to use that, so it's got to use its auxiliary side. Which is really, really good. That is one of the things we can do to it. If we're lucky, we in real life, we could dem uh, destroy the barrel as well. Right, let's take the helicopter out. We can do that with the point as well. Mark the helicopter. If it's a static one, normally if it's moving, we would go to the air burst munition and start engaging it with that. But let's go to point. Laser to it. Add in health screw comma. And the pellets will explode on it. Alright, it's not taken down yet. We'll try again. Add in health screw comma. Still not destroyed. That is not good for my theory. I know I've done it before. But we'll try one more time. Screw comma. Okay. Airburst munition. I'm not lucky today. <laughs> That's, that is not fair. I've done it before. So. We'll keep it on cat. As you can see, when we're going in in, uh, in airburst, it laces. It keeps pulsating following the helicopter if we're scanning that. But let's go back to point mode. We really need to take this out and show you the effect of it. I n it's been done with two rounds or four rounds, so I know it's doable. There we go. Just gotta leave the right place. Right. That was a bad showing of, of how to use the cat round on that. Now you see this line of infantry here. A big, beautiful line of infantrymen. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the, the usage of the cat round in a wide burst uh, firing style. What we would do here, but since this is a very, very large group, we're just going to take it out from the line. So center mass of the target lays on it. Get the line fast and huna. Blue comma. Hold in until all five rounds have been shot. Again, just to make sure that it's done. And it's taking out a lot of the infantry. Now we're scanning right. It's new lace. Same procedure as before. Lace center mass of the target. Certain T. Screw comma. You can see it, it has with very, very good effect, taking out the infantry there. Um, normally, I'd say if, if you you got infantry closer than 800 meters, don't bother with a cat round, unless it's an ACGM or something. Just stick with your coax. Um, because that is that is very effective as well. So, I think first, come on. At the moment, we got unlimited munitions for this, because I wanted to show you how effective it is against infantry. Again, apparently, I'm having a very buggy night tonight. Right, here you go, we got infantry walking in a straight line, or a staggered column, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna laze on them. 2T. Two comma. Go back into the same side, and that should have demolished all of the infantrymen that came came down through that line with just two rounds. If you can see over here again, we got a infantry patrol coming along. We'll do it with wide center mass of the target. Screw comma. Uh, 
And the infantry was hit in the back, getting them down. Try one more time. Scoot comma. And that took them out. Right. Let's go with the deep mode here. Normally that would be against entrenched units. So basically, we will shoot... Uh, we'll shoot off four rounds on this. See if it's still doing it. No, it's not. Good. Four rounds of this. Two in the front. Try one more time because I just fucked it up. There we go. Two in the front. And two in the back. But the other way around. So we'll shoot two in the back first, keeping them pinned down, and then two rounds in the front to make sure that they stay down. Okay? But since there's no trenches in Steel Beast, then it's not really that much of a use. We can then switch to the Pena mode, which we would normally use against infantry that is uh, stuck up inside a building. Um, currently, we do not have that. Uh, that is that effective. Um, but we'll show it neither way. Lays on a building, if you have infantry inside it. There are some buildings where it do work on, uh, and some that it doesn't. This, these brick walls, apparently, it it doesn't fully work on it, but it'll get there. So, lays on the target that we want to engage at. Shoot one round. If it, of course, would go through. We'll try one more time. You see the round penetrating the building and explode on the inside. Releasing all its pellets to the infantry that is placed inside the building. Try it on a different building. We see it on this one here. Firing. And it explodes on the inside. We see these two guys. Now you can see we had a 10-man patrol coming out. And basically a point shot took out seven of them. Or two rounds of point took out seven of the infantry. We'll just finish them off with this. We will not finish it off with that. We'll try one more time. There we go. What do we have here? The same infantry group. Still moving. Center mass of the group. Firing. Okay, bad lace. Make sure you get the lacing correct. It's very important, otherwise the rounds will explode on the back side of the group. And then you can follow up if you see that not, not all of them has been destroyed, or did, uh, engaged and killed, follow up with a point round. Just be aware, it takes a while in Steel Beast to reload this. Reload these rounds here. Which is why I have set it to unlimited ammunition. For now. But normally we work in a, in a section of three to five people. Uh, three to fi uh, four vehicles. So we always have people helping us. Right. What we also have on the vehicle is our heat round. Or AP round for now. Since... Uh, the heat round will be there later, or I'll show you that later. On this target, we have a BTR-70. To make, since it's almost three kilometers out, to make the round even more accurate, every time we shoot, we go in and a chamber the round. Um, for f Since I'm Danish, I got my own keyboard, on our, my own button for that on the keyboard. It's near our O knob. But you got you got to figure out where that is via the uh, the control panel. Figure out what button it is on that. But now we'll just try it on this BTR here. We've chambered the round to make it spin. It means that it's fed it inside the breech and it's ready to hit that button. It's not like with the uh, the cat rounds where you're not supposed to breach them or to chamber them because otherwise it's gonna fuck up the the feeder system. But, with a single round, we do this on APFS rounds, and also on the uh, heat round. So we'll just try to do this one more, one single time. 
shot. And it's a direct hit. I will try one more time. Same sight. 3000, firing. I will try it without. On the next one we see, we're just gonna drive over here to our right to get a better eyes on that particular vehicle parked here. Now we can show you this in moving. If we shoot this in moving, it's not all the time that we're gonna hit it, as you can see here. We'll try one more time when it's chambered. Try one more time, that's very bad of me, showing that it's not gonna hit. Always aim for the center mass of the target, obviously. And apparently I'm just a bad shot. Not readjusting my sight. Try one more time, single shot, firing. And a hit. Same target. Trying without moving it. And... Hit. But it's very important normally that we, we chamber the round to make it more accurate, so we don't accidentally get the rounds to fire off in all sort of directions. And of course we have our MG here as well. That we can use. We got some infantry lying out here. We can... Usually we say we can engage targets up to about... 1700 meters with it. That's our longest range we get we have with it. Um, also we have our infantry here in the back that we can use. But let's go with our main with our coax against these infantry lying out here. The where we get to. 1400. Normally we tend to get closer to it because of the spread that that the vehicle has on, or uh, the munition has, the further out we go, obviously. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into about a thousand meters, maybe a little bit less, before we engage with uh, the coax. Just because we can. While we drive on this beautiful terrain here. Let's see if we can find them again. There they are. And of course they're behind a little crest, so we gotta go above that. <laughs> and since we're soon gonna stop, we're gonna put it in fixed mode. Let's see, where are we? Coming up on them. The owner test coax school comma. Play a deal higher. Buff. And that will for now conclude our little mission our little video uh, regarding the CB90. If you have any more questions, do feel free to ask on the forum uh, in that thread that I've been posting on. Um, but thank you very much for watching, uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys some other time.